this is Li Hao Taiwan and I'm Tina. Everyone knows that Taiwan is a food lover's paradise. We'll take you through a 12 hours foodie marathon and let's show you what locals eat in a day. Let's eat it like a burger. It has a lot of flavor of flour and it's very simple but delicate. At the same time, if you really like something that's like bread-ish, you should try this out. So look in Taiwan has two ways to have it. One is to drink directly, another way is to add chopped dry radish, spring onion and vinegar. And this will turn the original soy milk into a savory version. I've actually never had this, the savory version of soy milk. Let's try it. It tastes very much like tofu, but it's not my favorite. Other than yo tao, you can try some xiaolongbao, radish cake, and spring onion omelette. Next up, Taichung Second Market. Traditional market in Taiwan is unlike the one in the Western world. You can buy a lot of different fruits directly delivered from the place of origin, and there are many stalls which you can buy different things. You can also eat breakfast here. Hey, you have other So our braised meat is one of the most important to me. You can have this from today till night. The salt tender pork belly is the soul of the whole dish. The meat is really tender and the fatty part, you might think it's really fatty, but it's not. It's really chewy and it's really nice. Locals prepare it with some side dishes and soup. This green soup is called ma yi. It tastes a bit bitter and it's exclusive only in the summer. But this market only opens until 12 o'clock. They say the early bird gets the warm, so make sure you wake up early to try out the traditional Taiwanese breakfast. Let's go have some drinks. Did you know that bubble tea is invented in Taiwan? Wow! There's a perfect combination of milk and tea But the secret to this drink is the chewy tapioca But, 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 but there's something special today Here I have the sweet tapioca bowl and then the milk hot pot So when we put the most essential tea inside, it becomes a bubble tea hot pot! Ta-da! Can you imagine having salted milk? It's what this hot pot tastes like. With the tapioca on the side, it's weird but interesting. When you cook all the ingredients, it balances out the taste of the hot pot. Other than bubble milk tea, there are local dishes you can have, such as braised chicken feet, Handmade thin noodles with sesame oil and brown sugar mochi. I'm already quite full after a big meal, but there's always room for dessert. Let's have some dessert. The British likes afternoon tea, but in Taiwan, we like something that are made from natural ingredients. So if you like something sweet, you can miss out on these. Sweet potato bowl, tapioca, taro, and also some red beans. Let's try it. Mm. When you bite through, it has a more chewy version of tapioca. And when you slowly chew it, it has a lot of taro taste in it. If you like something really light, you should try this. Now my favorite night market. Even though it's still a bit early, but this way we can avoid the crowd at night and have a more relaxed atmosphere to enjoy the food. Let's see what they're 
sell it.